there was a conversation on the far end between Elliott. I can't tell who the winter hawk was. It was D. Champlain, and from the bench, Travis Green yelling, "No, no, 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 no!" Yeah, Elliott's looking for D. Champlain now. Now so is Forsberg, and here they go, Forsberg and D. Champlain, as they get in a fight right in front of the Seattle bench. Forsberg and D. Champlain. Forsberg all over D. Champlain after he goes down. That's. Uh, the line's been jumping in there to do a good job to separate and break up. Forsberg celebrates again. Well, they're really setting the stage here for, for the first round of these two teams play each other, aren't they? Wow. I think they also set the stage for a rematch tomorrow night in uh, Kent at the Showware Center. Wow. Safe to say that this has been a rivalry that goes back to the Buckaroo Totem days, the Seattle-Portland rivalry, long before the Ducks and the Huskies cared about one another, long before the Blazers and the Sonics came in. It was all about the Buckaroos, the Totems, and then later on, then later on, the Breakers, the Winterhawks, the Breakers turned into the Thunderbirds, and away we go as Kopech and Dickman have some work going on.